Hello everyone, this is the Bovine Terror, and today we will be playing Apico. We're just waiting to get enough glue, basically. Uh, oh, this one's done. Crossbreeding? Undiscover B, click to learn more. <gasps> what did we get? A new discovery! Uh, yeah, learn more. What did we get? We got a Verdant B, cool! Uh, Apis Florio. Normal variant found, but we haven't found a blessed one yet. This is a mutation from a common forest hybrid during the day. Interesting. Okay, the verdant bee was the first domesticated bee species in the archipelago. Breeding the verdant bee is a common rite of passage for many new beekeepers starting their apiculture journal. Cool. Okay. Well, we got a verdant bee, so that is very cool. We got a purebred verdant bee. We got two purebred verdant bees. Oh my god, that's cool. Well, we have three now, so we can we can just make this apiary. Um, yeah, we can just make this apiary for um for verdant bees now. That's great. We got a predictor and we got a verdant bee. All right, claim. We got two more wooden frames. That's great. Okay, rehabilitate. When you discover a new species, you'll notice their conservation status in the almanac is lost. Oh. As you breed more of that species, you can release some of them into the wild with a rehabilitator. Uh, releasing bees adds to their conservation status, going from lost all the way to thriving. Conserving a species is its own reward, but you might make a name for yourself if you do. Cool. So we need a rehabil we need a rehabilitator. Okay, so we gotta get that going. I don't know what the the like special bees do, so I'm just kind of keeping them because they seem useful. Yes, this is the extractor. Okay, craft the extractor. We have an extractor now. Cool, awesome. So now we can take all of our uncapped stuff and use this, which I already forgot what it's called, but we can use it to do cool things. Uh, sure, we can put it there, that works. Okay, put this, and this, and this, in, and this, do this. Go, Extractor, yes. Create, go faster, give us more things. Okay, cool, we got some seeds, we got some beeswax, we got a lot of beeswax from that, and I don't know what the bottom things are. Awesome. Oh, we got so many things. Jeez. Okay, take all this out. And put these all in. Let's keep this ball rolling. Now that we're, go we're spinning really fast, so we can keep getting stuff. Okay, we got a lot of resources out of that. Okay, cool. So we got... Oh, jeez, we got a lot of things. Okay, well, we can put some of these back in. So we can take this out, and we can put this and this in. Okay, now we're like getting into a groove of things. There's like a whole bunch of stuff going on now. What else do we need to do? We extracted some honey. Oh, we have our five things. Yeah, okay. We'll claim a container. Awesome. Okay, we'll craft one of those. Awesome, we got that. Now we can get a magazine rack. Okay, sure. Fizzy Wizzy. Now we've got honey we can start putting... Oh, now we've got honey we can start putting it to good use and make some apicola. To get started, you'll need to craft a fermenter. This takes rainwater and honey and ferments it into apicola over time. Once we have our apicola, we buy a bottler from Skipper to bottle it up and sell it. You can also infuse your apicola with spices that give a variety of special effects like increased speed, night vision, or even a headache the following day. Okay. Okay, so we can make a barrel. And then we go to the fermenter, and we can just make the fermenter. Okay, so we have a fermenter now. Okay, so this is the rehabilitator. Um, I'm going to put the rehabilitator over here, because then where all of our bee boxes are. All right, let's look and see what the candlestick maker is. With all that beeswax we've been making, it's about time we put it to good use, huh? You can craft a candle maker at the workbench, which will let you melt down your beeswax into molten wax. Once you have enough molten wax, it'll automatically solidify into a bright new candle. Outside of being great mood lighting, you can also use candles to burn incense in an incense burner. I wonder what that does. Okay, sure, we can make um, some candles. 
Oh, this is starting to get a little overwhelming. There's a lot of things happening. All right, we have that. Okay. Looks like we don't. Okay, so let's take this. And I bring everything down here anyway, so we can just put it put it here. And let's in... Ooh, that's not what I wanted. It's fine. Okay. So now we put beeswax in and we need logs oh oh to fuel it okay interesting okay cool uh, we needed to make glue for something that i oh yeah i wanted the i want the automatic sawmill but we need lots of these so we need to make lots of glue for it Let's just make as much glue as we can i don't know what else you can use this for so we'll go with that and then we just need sticks Craft one, two, three, four, five. We can craft all five that we need. That's awesome. So now we need saw bench and we need more infused wood planks. Okay, so that is good to know that we will need to get some more of that. And we got that. Cool. Okay, now we can craft this. So let's get the automatic sawmill. Hell yeah. Okay, we got the automatic sawmill. So let's place that down. And now, presumably... So presumably we can just things will just get chopped up now. Oh, this seems to be a new thing I need to learn about. As well as upgrading our apiaries, we can now upgrade all our machines to save our poor calloused hands from all that manual labor. Using glue made from propolis and infused sticks, we can make cogs. With cogs, we can start making semi-automatic clockwork machines. All you have to do with clockwork machines is wind them up and watch them go. Let's start by upgrading your saw bench into a sawmill. Okay, so I did that on accident. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I can just wind this up a whole bunch and it'll just go for a long time. That's very convenient. I like that. And it'll just chop all the wood into the things that we want it to do. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. And then we'll go over here. We should have our five candles. That's fantastic. And then uh, now we should be able to... Cr oh, fuck. We need two more? God damn it. Uh, okay, that's fine. We can get two more, and then we can go get the bench. Okay. Raft this. Now we have an automatic one, which is great. Uh, oh, I can't charge it up just yet. Oh, it ha you can hold so many more things in there. That's really cool. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so we will come back and we will pick up all of these uh, hives and everything like that when we come back to this. But yeah, this is really fun. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It is great. So go ahead, milk that subscribe button, ring that cowbell, utterly smash that like button, tip your cow into the comments, and finally, thank you all for watching, and have a great, great life, everyone.